but what are the actual use cases of tokenizing real assets and, and seeing those use cases actually make a difference for, uh, for investors or the issuers or, or the whole economy? Sure, so there are two that I you know, highlight. One is you know, the, the native issuance of, of security tokens, right? So we at SockGen are a, a big issuer of structured products and we see an opportunity for the, the types of data that needs to co you know, coexist alongside the structured products to be available through smart contracts and things like that. So on a particular example, a year ago, uh, SockGen issued a green bond on Ethereum, a public blockchain, and that green bond was, was tied to some performance measures of, of SockGen's you know, performance with respect to its uh, green targets. When the, the bond was issued, it was, there was two components to it. One is that part of it was settled against a native cash token. So as Factor Forge in Europe has a stable coin, it's not available to U.S. persons. So just you know, say that out loud. It's only available uh, you know, to, to non-U.S. persons because I'm not allowed to market or sell it. But so that transaction settled in 18 minutes. You know, so you have the, the, the combination of features right, to be able to leverage the, the technology and smart contracts to improve the data that's available on the, on the green bond, but also to leverage the on-chain money to be able to settle more quickly. So that's, that's, you know, that's, that's one example. And then the other example is something that we've done cl you know, closer to here, and that's the tokenization of, of U.S. Treasury. So we have an application that we use for internal purposes that whereby we move collateral around, actually settle repo and U.S. Treasury transactions between our entities. And we did that to be able to get the real-time benefits. So rather than waiting for a bank to open at you know, 8 o'clock in the morning and close at, you know, the Fed wire closes at 3.30, we can you know, move assets around you know, at, to our heart's content. But there's a cost component to it. So you know, in using the distributed ledger technology, we're able to save significant dollars by internalizing some of those movements and not relying on external bank movements. So, so I think that you know, there's, there's the, the longer-term vision of what we talked about you know, with, the, with the green bond issuance, but the less sexy use case that saves us a million dollars a year.